in the first round of the new Anglo-Italian Cup. Here's Lions commentator Paul Gaynor. Good evening and welcome to the Den for tonight's Anglo-Italian Cup match between Millwall and Charlton Athletic. Millwall and Charlton are in a group of three that includes Portsmouth. A good result tonight will give Millwall a lot of confidence when they visit Portsmouth. A win for Charlton will put them, put them in a very good position as they'll then play Portsmouth at home. And they're off. That's a long ball forward by Charlton. Straight out of play. And that's Ken Cunningham for Millwall. McGinley. McGinley looking for support. He's got it wide. Ian Bogey. It's a great long ball to Alex Ray on the edge of the box. Chance for Ray. Crosses. Oh! Save! Well, that was a great chance for John Goodman there. Fine save by Bob Boulder. But that's a lucky escape for Charlton. And Boulder clears towards Dwyer. Bumpstead. And Bumpstead again. Plays it wide towards Minto. It's a long ball in from Minto, and it's a good one. The chance here. Oh! Hard you. So close. Boulder with the goal kick. Looking towards Dyer again. And he wins it in the air. And that's Cooper heads back. And that's collected by Keller. Interception by Charlton. Space on this side for Minto. Looks for Dyer. Looks for the one two. Minto goes. And he's round. Oh! A great chance for Minto there. A fine one two on the edge of the box. No one picked him up. He seemed to be McCleary's man. And a good chance there, which he couldn't take with his left foot. And it's Robert for Millwall. It's a good looking ball to Holsgrove. Plays it into Goodman on the edge of the box. Goodman holds it up for number two. Oh, it's a great goal by Kenny Cunningham. Cunningham, number two, scores his first ever goal for Millwall. And what a great goal it was. Left foot shot from the edge of the area. Goodman putting Cunningham in some trouble. He plays it back to Cooper. Now Keller, long ball forward towards Bogey, and Bogey lets that run, and Goodman comes in, and that's number two. Oh no, it's not. And there's real confusion on the pitch here. Real confusion. People looking to the referee and the linesman there. That was just cleared off the line. We've got Leeburn. And Dyer on the edge of the box. And it's Webster. Tries a shot straight into the wall. Fine save by Keller. Down low to his left hand side after a shot by Colin Walsh. A deflection off the wall. Walsh came in and fired a low shot, but well saved by Keller. Millwall have sent Colin Cooper forward. Stevenson. Oh, great header by John Goodman and a fine save by Bob Boulder. Well, that's brought the crowd behind the goal to their feet. Great save by Bob Boulder. Fine header by John Goodman. Bogey, good skills again by Bogey. Plays it to Dolby. Dolby goes round Webster. Great shot and a great save. Fine save by Bob Boulder. And Charlton break. Lee. Into Leeburn. Good saving, saving header there. 
by number two, Ken Cunningham. Been in action at both ends of the field tonight, Ken Cunningham. Scored the game's only goal so far. Fine left foot drive from outside the area. Charlton come forward now. He's looking dangerous. Laid back. Oh, they scored. And it's the substitute, Tony Barnes. Well, that goal really came out of nothing. Ball tucked back inside to Barnes. He shot low into the right hand corner, and I think that Keller was unsighted with that one. Now Cunningham floats the ball in, and it's cleared by Minto. But it's still not away yet. And it's Stevenson who's tormented them all night. Into Goodman, it's a goal! Oh, it looks like it's offside. And now it's out to Alex Dyer, number nine. He's happy to play it back to Walsh. And in turn plays it back again to Gatting. To Webster. Webster plays a long ball in towards Leeburn. Leeburn heads down. And it's a chance. Oh, it's another goal. Charlton take the lead through Alan Pardew. Pardew on the score sheet again. Fifth goal of the season for him. And what a disappointment for Millwall. One goal up through Kevin Cunningham in the first half. And now 2-1 down through two goals in five minutes. Two goals out of nothing for Charlton. Put Millwall right back on their heels. Barmer. Into the crowd. And that'll be Cunningham. The Dolby. Can't control it. And there goes the final whistle. The final score, Millwall 1, Charlton Athletic 2. We'll bring you coverage of Charlton's next Anglo-Italian fixture at home to Portsmouth in our next programme. On the 5th of